up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thumbs up, hope we're doing good, hope we're doing well. It's a beautiful evening, I've just finished work and I need to get some tea on. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out my new um, halogen cooker air fryer as I finally found out, that's what it is. Um, but look, I'm just doing a basic thing in it, I'm just doing some chicken and doing some sort of roast potatoes. Um, I'm quite excited to use it, this machine. I'll, it's the same as my last one, uh, but also I'm hoping to see how fast it is because the other one was getting quite old and it's quite frankly knackered. <laughs> so I'm just going to spin you around. There's the new machine. If you don't see the unboxing video, I shall leave it in the description. So I've got some chicken. Oh, there we go. Um, these are just like chicken strips. Now you can cook these from frozen, which I'm, I'm kind of doing really. Uh, it's the Butcher's Choice chicken strips. It's two pound, the two pound fifty. Um, and I get quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven strips there. There's another four left in the bag. So it's about three quarters of the bag. Um, got some leftover potatoes. So I've Finally chop them up, I'll say finally, you know what I'm like. Chop them up, uh, cover them with a bit of oil, put some spices on there, I'm going to put some herbs on that. Chuck them in there, and away we go. Alright, so bear with me, I'll just uh, try and lightly put a bit of oil in there, I don't want to put too much. Now I always do, when I do potatoes in this machine, um, I tend to put them in a tray like this, but it's a lot cleaner. Saves all the mess in the bottom. Now I've got some of my, <laughs> you know them by now, I use them a lot. Give them a nice bit of a kick, so I like, uh, like Bombay potatoes, that sort of thing. Marvellous. There we go. Put them in there. Chicken. I'm just going to put some mixed herbs on there. This is what I tend to use and it's pretty damn decent. So that will do. There we go. They're in there nicely. I've put the chicken at the side, now I can double tier this if I want to, so there's more room, but I've got everything there, that, that's fine. So what we'll do then is pop the lid on, plug it in, that might help, won't it? Right, so what you do is set it to your temperature, I'm going maximum, because that's me, I like things at maximum. Um, it says about 25 minutes for this, but I'm going to set it at 30 and then I can always take it out earlier. And then the handle, as soon as you push it down, away you go! It shines golden! Good bright light. There you go. It's great because you can see exactly what you're cooking. And obviously this deep dish as well, you can do casseroles in there, chickens, meats, you name it, you can do it. I mean, if you look on top there, it sort of shows you what you can do, if you can see. You can even do cakes in there. Bread as well, apparently. I'll try that one day. So yeah, give that half an hour, come back to me. And there you go. <laughs> Obviously it looks a bit empty, I've just dished it up, but it's all done. I've left some for tomorrow for my dinner to put some wraps, leftover potatoes. There's a finished product. I've got some salad out my garden, which I'll just show you here. There look, got some more. From out there. Spot on. Um, unfortunately the tomatoes are not out my garden yet. Um, but yeah, I've got some lettuce leaves, I've got some uh, mayo on there, tomatoes. The potatoes and the chicken. Quite healthy for me, that isn't it? <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. And that thing.
cooks absolutely spot on very impressed but I knew it'd be very good because I've had one before <laughs> but it seems to cook a lot faster so it shows you that the old one was starting to get a bit knackered um, which it was it, it was falling to bits it was cracked um, bits smashed off it it was terrible so if you want to go and get one of them I highly recommend it as I learn it is like an air fryer thing but I I actually really like it because you can actually see what's cooking and you could do more stuff in there casseroles a whole lot um yeah i'm gonna eat this now before millie decides she wants to eat it so there we go thank you so much for watching guys thank you to all my subscribers old and new awesome um i'll see you again next week guys bye bye